All right, this is the second part of the video uh, where we actually look at the Little Man computer. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, I, I, I showed you a diagram of a, a little guy ran around a room fetching instructions, decoding them and executing them. And I wrote some code that showed how to add up two numbers. Now this is the code here and it's written in uh, assembly language. Assembly language is a low level language. If you've been learning how to program in things like Python and things, you've been learning how to program in a high level language. Uh, low level languages are, are far more basic. Uh, you have to do a lot more sort of coding to get the same sort of output that you could get out of a single line in, uh, in Python, for example. But the process is actually fairly easy to understand. So, <clears throat> what we have here is our mailboxes. It's our RAM. Okay. And here we've got actually got a hundred mailboxes. They go from zero to 99. And, uh, we have our program counter. We have an input tray and we have an output tray. Uh, and much like we had in the, uh, the original diagram, uh, the original diagram. So let's actually just run this program and see what's going on. And then we'll look at how we can extend this to add three numbers together. So we'll run this program and what happens is the program is, first of all, the, the program count is pointed to position zero. So it fetches the instruction from position zero. We'll slow this down a bit. And the next stage is to actually decode this instruction and execute it. So the execution says input is required. So I'm going to input a number. So let's do our original number, which was 10. And the value 10 is going to be carried into the accumulator. The next instruction is going to be fetched from position number one. As it's being fetched, the actual program counter is incrementing ready for the next uh, instruction to be fetched. So we're fetching the current instruction from position one, which in this case is 399. Three represents the adding and 99 represents the mailbox to get that uh, data from. So we're off to go to mailbox uh, number 99 with our, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to say add, I meant to say store, three is store. So we're storing whatever was in the accumulator into mailbox number 99. Once that instruction has been executed, we fetch the next instruction. You'll see that program counter is already incrementing to position three, ready for the next instruction. So we're going to get position two, uh, sorry, the, the in, we're going to get the input instruction from mailbox two. There we go, finally got it out. Okay. Uh, we're going to, we're fetching it at the moment. We're about to decode it. So we've decoded it and now we're executing that instruction. So we're getting our next number. So we're going to input the number eight. And that eight goes into the accumulator. We then go and get the next instruction from position mailbox three. And while that's happening, we're incrementing the program counter ready for the next instruction. So let's speed this up a bit. So we're going to position three and we're fetching the instruction 199. One represents what to do and 99 represents the uh, mailbox location. So one in this case represents add. So we're about to uh, get, if you look down here, it says add accumulator Add to the accumulator the contents of RAM address 99. So we're off to fetch whatever's in mailbox number 99, which has a value of 10. And we're going to add it to the value that's currently stored in the accumulator, which is 8. So what we should see in the accumulator is uh, a result of 18. So those two numbers have been added together and we now have a result of 18. So now we're off to position 4, because that's where the next instruction is, which contains a value 902. And while that's happening, the Program counter has been incremented, so we're off to get position number four, which contains 902. 902 basically says output whatever's in the accumulator along, uh, well, basically this is a bus, bus two. Okay, so when that's done, we'll, we fetch the instruction, we're going to decode it, and now we're going to take 18 to uh, the output tray. When that has taken place, we're off to get the next instruction, which is five um, in mailbox five, which actually contains zero, zero, zero. We are incrementing the program counter to six, ready for the next instruction. Remember, the, pro the computer, the CPU, doesn't know what the instructions are going to be, so it's just incremented it to position six. It's about to get the instruction 
uh, it's going to decode it as instruction register zero, address register zero, zero, and basically that will tell the computer just to stop, to halt, and that is the program done. So we've added two numbers and the result is 18. So how do we extend this further into a, uh, a program that can output the sum of three numbers? Whoops. So let's change this to three. Okay, so we want to change the program to three numbers. Well, in the first one, where we added two numbers, we only had to store one number. So we fetched a number and we stored it once, and then we got the next number, and then we could just add the original number that we'd stored. So to do that with three numbers, we'd have to store at least two of them. So let's modify this code and say, okay, let's input another number, and then we're going to store it into position number 98. Uh, and, well, actually, let's modify this slightly differently. Let's go, um, we add that number. Once we've added the, once we've added the second number, we'll store that one. So we'll store that in position number 99, overriding the original number. And then we're going to input another number. And then we're going to add the new number uh, like this. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to store the number in the, the first number in position number 99. We're going to get another number. And we're going to add whatever we've just collected with the original number. And we're going to store it and override the uh, original number that we had saved with the new total. We're then going to get the third number and then add that number to the one we've just saved. Uh, oops. <clears throat> and then we're going to output the total and we're going to halt. So that's one way of doing it. So let's run it this way. Uh, we're going to run it a little bit faster so we can see what's going on. So we're going to input three numbers and I'm going to keep them simple. I'm going to do, uh, let's do one, two and three. Okay, so the total is going to be five. So one, Oh, sorry, the total is going to be 6, rather. So we've put the value 1 in first. And we're going to see that it's going to get stored into mailbox number 99. Now we're going to get the next number, which is going to be 2. So we'll just wait for it to execute the command for inputting. So it's ready for the next number, so let's do 2. 2 goes in the, into the accumulator, and what we need to do is find out what we're going to do now, which is, in this case, store... We're going to add... 1, so we're going to go to mailbox number 1, go to number 99, fetch 1, and add it to the value that's in the accumulator. So now we get a value of 3. The next instruction is going to tell us to store the value 3 into position number 99. So we should see 3 being carried down to mailbox number 99. The next instruction is going to be, let's get the third number we want to add. So we'll wait for that command to be executed. There we go. So I'm going to put in the value 3. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, right, grab the value, the next instruction, once we get this from mailbox 6, we're going to say, grab the value that's in mailbox number 99, and then add it to whatever's in the accumulator. So we're going to grab mailbox number 99, which contains 3, and we're going to add it to whatever's in the accumulator, which was 6. The next instruction is going to say, output that value into the output tray. So we're going to see 6 being carried over to the output tray. And then the final instruction is going to be halt. So we're just going to wait for this to finish. And we should see that it says program has halted. There we go. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it would be to just store all our values first. It's not as efficient, but we'll, let's, let's do that. So we're going to store the first value in position number 98. Then we're going to store the, the final one, uh, the next one in number 99. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, input the next number. And we're going to uh, add whatever's in position number 98. And then once that's done, we're going to add whatever's in position number 99. And we're going to out. Put. So we're going to input a number, store it. Input another number, or oh, we want to store it here in position number 99. So STA 99. Input another number, then add whatever, is in, whatever our first number was to the, the third number we've just collected. Then add the next number, uh, and then let's see how that works. So our code has just changed slightly. 
and we're going to run this again. So we're going to just check with the same numbers, one, two, and three, to make sure the output is the same. This time I'm going to speed up a bit more. So the first instruction says input number, so let's do it backwards this time. Let's go three, two, one. The output should be the same. So three is going to be stored in position number 98, so we should see three going in here. There it goes. Next number is going to be uh, two that we're going to put in. So we should see two in a moment being stored into position number 99. So we're going to see three and two being stored. There they go. And now we're going to get the third number. And once I press one here, what we're going to see is one goes into the accumulator. And then we're going to see uh, three being added to one. So we're going to see a total of four. Then we're going to see two being added to the four, giving us a total of six. And then that will be output. So here we go. So next instruction is going to say fetch the data from position number 98 and add it to the accumulator. There we've got a total of four. The next instruction will say fetch the data from number 99 and add that to the accumulator. So it will be four plus two, which gives us a total of six. And then the next instruction is to output the six to the output tray. And then the final instruction is to halt. So there we go. The program is halted. Two ways of doing the same program, but you can see the process. It's exactly the same as the, the original video I showed you with the diagram. It's fetching an instruction, decoding it and executing it. That is basically how all computers work. The fetch, decode, execute cycle. And that is a quick video to show you how uh, you can write simple programs in the Little Man computer. Feel free to mess around with some of these extra programs here. So uh, finding the maximum number out of two numbers is quite a fun one to look at. Uh, you know, that, that's about putting in two numbers and returning whichever one is higher. Have a play with it and mess around with the codes. You'll find uh, the, uh, the Little Man computer instruction set in a lot of different places. Um, I would probably yeah, just have a look at any website that has it and you'll see that there are certain codes that you can use with the numbers that you can use or the, uh, the letters and it tells you what they do. So have a little play around with it and, and see what kind of programs you can create.